Imagine a baby scooter born in the regimented, structured world of Japan, then whisked away to live in Italy raised by an old couple, say, Mario and Gabriella. He is named Giono and he lives with this Italian couple in a small villa. This youngster is raised on pizzas and pasta. He goes to a small, country school just outside of Rome. He looks Italian. He speaks Italian, but he is Japanese. I can't think of any other way the Giono could have come into being. The other option, however unlikely is that Honda thought they could build a retro-styled scooter and sell millions of units. The later however is an unfathomably boring story and I like my one much better. So yes, the Honda Giono is a retro-styled scooter. Now I'm sure there are a large bunch of Italian scooter guys who are upset that Honda copied this particular genre. Unfortunately for them it isn't the first or last time this would happen, both by the Japanese and many others. However it must be said that imitation is the sincerest form of flattery so those die-hard fans shouldn't be too disappointed. Take a look you'll see that Honda have done a damn fine job with their take on this style. There isn't a sharp line anywhere on the bodywork. Circular button-shaped indicators pop out of the front and rear with the round headlight mounted proudly. The dash features a very nice chrome surround. Even the numbers on the speedometer are scripted in a retro style. 